Hello, I'm Brian Farrell, and welcome to Peace IT session on expansion cards. Today we're going to be talking about the why of expansion cards, different types of expansion cards, and then we'll cover the basic steps of expansion card installation. Now with that, let's go ahead and begin this session. So we're going to begin with the why of expansion cards. Well, you know, thanks to the highly modular nature of the PC, Expansion cards are a great way to increase the functionality or capabilities of a system. Expansion cards can extend that capability of the system by adding more resources. Expansion cards can increase the functionality by adding abilities that weren't in the original operating system. Expansion cards are often a fairly inexpensive solution to a multitude of issues that may occur. That is the why of expansion cards. Now let's briefly touch on different types of expansion cards. We're going to begin with sound cards. They expand the sound capabilities of your PC. They're popular with gamers and those who watch videos and or television on their PCs. You can go from mono sound to stereo sound to surround sound with a sound card. Let's move on to video cards. Video cards can increase the overall performance of your system depending upon the card that you install. They can also add the ability to add multiple monitors. One of the ways that they increase performance is by taking the workload off of the CPU and transferring it to the video card. A good video card is a wise investment. Then there's network cards. Most motherboards have built-in network cards nowadays, but they can fail or they might not connect to the right type of network in your situation. Or you might need to connect to another or different type of network or make multiple network connections. That would be the reason to add an expansion card. Another reason to add expansion cards would be legacy applications. Most systems nowadays do not come with a serial or parallel port. But some applications and situations still call for those type of connections. You can add an expansion card that has a serial and or parallel port to your system. There are USB cards. You can add more USB ports to your system. You can also add newer versions of USB by using an expansion card. It's the same kind of situation with a FireWire card. You can add more FireWire to your system or just add FireWire to your system. And by installing an expansion card, you can update your system. There are expansion cards that help with storage. There are different storage solutions through expansion cards. So you need to add a SCSI tape array. Well, you can add a card that allows you to connect to a SCSI. There are also expansion cards that are solid state drives in their own right. They're really fast. They also tend to be fairly expensive though. They are a unique solution to storage. Let's talk about modems. Most systems don't come with built-in modems anymore either. It's kind of like the serial and parallel ports. But if you still need to connect to a legacy virtual private network, you're going to need that modem. That's where an expansion card that has a modem built into it will resolve that problem. There are wireless and cellular network cards. They allow you to take advantage of wireless networks. And a cellular card can take advantage of LTE or 4G networks. Although, caution, additional data charges may apply. A TV tuner card allows a PC to make a cable television connection. This is a popular option for the home theater PC. Cable television can be routed through or watched on the PC. Video capture cards are used to capture video images. Specialized cards are used to capture video and or still images that cross through the PC, and they may be combined with a TV tuner card. And finally, we're going to end with the riser card. This is an adapter for other cards. It plugs in and offers the ability to install another card at a 90 degree angle. You use a riser card when space is tight within the case. Now let's cover the basic steps of expansion card installation. 
Before we get started on the physical steps, there is some planning that's involved. The first thing that you need to determine is what you're trying to accomplish. There are often multiple ways to solve an issue. Which one is right for this situation? The next thing that you need to consider is, is there an open slot? It really doesn't do you much good if there's not. If there is not an open slot, then you need to make a decision. You need to decide on how to free up a slot or whether or not you need to go a different route. Next, is there enough physical space inside the case? Check the dimensions of the proposed card to make sure that it will fit inside the case. And finally, is there a better option? Do your research and plan for the future. It can often be less expensive to plan for the long run than to go a little less expensive but be hindered in your future use. Now let's move on to the physical steps. Step one, you need to read the documentation that comes with the card. Specifically look for when the driver needs to be installed. Does it need to be installed before you insert the card or after you insert the card? Step two, power down and open the case. Make sure you follow all safety procedures. Step three, determine which slot you're going to use. If there's an open slot, install the card, making sure it is firmly seated. If you're going to install it into an occupied slot, remove the old card and then install the new one, making sure it's firmly seated. Then you close up the case and power up. Once the system is powered up, test for functionality. Make sure it works right. And finally, check the manufacturer's website. Often there's an updated driver or a firmware update that you want to install to make sure that you have all the functionality that is required. Now that concludes this session on expansion cards. We covered the why of expansion cards, we covered the types of expansion cards, and then I briefly touched on the basic steps of expansion card installation. Now on behalf of Pace IT, thank you for watching this session, and I'm sure I'll do another one soon.